can you tell me, Vanado, what, what this book is? It's just, why, why you've kept it? This is my life. This is my past, this is my present, and this is my future. And I keep it you know, to remind me. But it's always, it's always there. I don't, you know, I just, this is it. This is my life. This is everything. This is the way I am. This is what made me this way. I was trained to kill, but the reality of killing someone is different from training and pulling the trigger. You know. So you knew when you went into the village that if you found women, old men, children, anything that was living, you knew that you were going to have to kill them that day. From women and children to dogs and cats, yes. Yes. So, but I didn't know it, that I was going to do that. I knew the women and children was there. But for me to say that I was going to kill them, I didn't know I was going to do that until it happened. I didn't know I was going to kill anyone. I didn't want to kill anyone. I wasn't raised up to kill. You know? Now, she was running with her back from a tree line. But she was carrying something. I didn't know if it was a weapon or what. But it was a woman. You know, I knew it was a woman. I didn't want to shoot a woman. You know? But I was given an order to shoot. So I'm thinking that she had a weapon running. So when I shot and I turned over, it was a baby. You know, shot about four times, three or four times. And the bullet just went through and shot the baby too, you know. And I turned over and I saw the baby face where we half gone, you know. <clears throat> and I just, just blinked, I just went. The training came to me, the programming to kill. And I just started killing. What do you mean you just started killing? Did you go looking for people to kill or what? You didn't have to look. It was there. They was trying to get away. But they was just there. It wasn't hard to kill. It wasn't hard to find anyone to kill. That day in my life, I was personally responsible for killing between 20 and 25 people, about 25 people, personally. Men From women. shooting them, to cutting their throats, to scalping them, to cutting off their hands, and cutting out their tongue. I did that. Why did you do all that? You didn't tell me. Why did you, why did you kill them and do that? I just went. My mind just went. I didn't wasn't the only one that did it. A lot of other people did it. I just killed once I started the, the training, the whole programming part of killing. It just came out. But your training didn't tell you to scalp people or to cut ears? No, or... no. But a lot of people were doing it. So I just followed suit. I just lost all sense of direction. A purpose. I just start killing any kind of way I could kill. It just came. I didn't know I had it in me. But like I said, after I killed the child, my whole mind just went. It just went. And once you start, it's very easy to keep on. Once you start. The hardest, the hardest part is to kill, but once you kill, that's become easier to kill the next person and the next one and the next one. Because I had no feelings or no emotions or no nothing, no direction, I just killed him. This GI was the only American casualty at My Lai. He'd accidentally shot himself. Despite the total absence of hostile fire, Callie continued to order his men to shoot. Most obeyed. A few refused. Lieutenant Kelly out of our certain people to shoot these people and uh, I was one of them and I refused and he told me that he was going to have me a court martial when we got back to base camp and I told him what was on my mind at the time ordering me to shoot down innocent people that's not an order that's that's craziness to me you know and so I don't feel like I have to obey that 
No, she's and the other. You want a court martial me to do that? If you can get away with it. I feel like it was it was horrible, you know, just a terrible thing to be going on, and American boys doing this, you know, and I feel like I'm a red blood American boy, just like any of the rest of the guys that was there, you know, and uh, to see that I'm talking about black or white, you know, black and white guys doing this, you know, it didn't make any difference. I'm saying uh, it just seemed like a horrible thing. I'm talking, about we all came from the same place. To me, you know. We all came from the same place, and I know uh, they all had to have the same values that I had somewhere along the line. Uh, if, it's, if they didn't get it in school, they had to get it in religion, uh, church, or some place, you know. Uh, if you didn't go to school, you know, you could pick it up from a stranger, you know. It's just simple, you know. But then to go and do something like this, it's, it's immoral to me, you know. That's just the way I feel about it.